So today I have had a delivery of some Michael Harding paints. These have come from Jackson's. They're on offer at the moment. And this is called their Misty London um, set of two, four, six colours. And they would have normally have been £77.98. But because they're on special offer, they were £62.38. So I have added these to my Michael Harding collection. Um, one of the colours I did already have, but I'm not too bothered because it's one I'll use a lot of. So this set contains warm white, which is PW4, PW6 and PY43. It also contains yellow ochre that I already had, which is PY42. And then it has yellow ochre deep, which is PY43. Lavender, PW6, PV15 and PB29, which of course is ultramarine, PB29. And then finally it has forest green, which is PBR7 and PB15.1. So that then adds to my collection, which I think you can just about see now, um, of Michael Harding watercolours. But I want to see how they, um, how they play out in my Viviva Colours sketchbook. I tried the other day with some coloured pencils in my previous video but now I want to try this sketchbook and see what it's like with these Michael Harding Misty London set of watercolours and then I'm going to have a little go at a picture. Um, it's going to be a pen and wash picture today but let's just see how well these do in this sketchbook so this is i might have to move that a little bit warm white which we're probably not going to see on this cream paper very well but nevertheless we will put it in there so the second colour, which I already had, but I will swatch it out again, um, is yellow ochre. So here we have yellow ochre. And we will just let that water down a bit. We've got yellow ochre deep. We can see that there's more of a orangey tinge to this one. We'll let that water down. Then we've got lavender. Oh, this looks lovely. So there we have lavender. Then we've got ultramarine. So obviously I could see what they're like on watercolour paper in my painter's colour diary where I did my swatches in there and they were very lovely in there. But I'm just testing out this sketchbook. I want to know whether it's going to be okay to paint in when I'm out and about. And there we have forest green. 
So why don't we just try forest green. It's quite an unusual set of colours. I'm thinking it's possibly was, you know, misty London. It's possibly sort of for urban sketching, which is why I have... Oh, there we go. Right, that's the forest green with the warm white. Now let's mix the forest green... with the yellow ochre deep mm -hmm. now I want to try ultramarine with the yellow ochre deep Oh, a glorious grey there, look. Uh, what else could we try? We could maybe mix. What happens when we mix the lavender with a couple of colours? Obviously, this isn't a proper, let's try mixing every colour together, but let's try it with the yellow ochre. And let's try lavender with the forest green. for a couple more what else could we try let's maybe try well let's see what happens when we mix the ultramarine with the forest green. Okay. Mm. Right. Well, we've got a few mixes there. And I'm going to be using that palette in a moment anyway. So I will bring these up for you to have a little look at. So we've got our warm white. Yellow ochre, yellow ochre deep, lavender, ultramarine, and forest green. Forest green's looking rather delicious. And then here we've got some mixes, which are obviously more muted, but still rather lovely. So, yes, it's quite an interesting colour palette, isn't it? Sold as a set. So, um, I'm just going to swap this around a minute, maybe pop that on the other side, although I'm not left-handed, we'll see how this goes. Um, I have just um, gone to Unsplash, basically, and there's a picture that I found of St Paul's Cathedral in London. Um, so, I've just done a quick little pen sketch of that and I'm just going to see what happens when I use these just as a you know just
just like we would in a, in a sketchbook when we're out and about. have some of that forest green a bit of greenery in the background there even though this is this, I mean this isn't true to St Paul's Cathedral I'm just <laughs> playing here Would I just want to have a look and see what these colours are like together, really. Right, now, I think I want to kind of grey that bit out a bit at the bottom. So we'll use that mix that I made up, which I think was lavender and something. Which just goes to show that you should really write it all down, doesn't it? And then not being precious as always we can get some of that color in there and then maybe just brighten it up a bit in places on this side which maybe is got the sun on it a bit more and maybe we can just darken it a bit more on this side as if it's in some shadow something like that Well, I think I do quite like those colours together. Um, yes. Perhaps we could make a bit more of that. Possibly. Well, I might now regret that. Just seemed a bit wishy-washy. I just wondered if something we could then bring that kind of down a bit. Yeah. We can kind of see the sort of a brighter, lighter side and a and a darker side. So Yes, a very interesting set that I think would be quite nice because it does mix some really good, um, actually if I move that out of the way, let's see if I can bring this up a bit so we can get it all in. There we go. So um, yeah, now we can we can see it all in there. Um, yes, I think probably quite a nice little set for some urban urban sort of pen and ink um, kind of work. But it's called Misty London. I will put the link to the Unsplash picture in case anybody wants to use that, and I will put a link to these. Uh, Misty London watercolours from Michael Harding that I got from Jackson's. I'll put that link below as well. Um, just a quick little video, really. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye for now.